Opening photos in Camera Raw can be done two different ways. You can do it straight from Adobe Bridge, and you can also do it by highlighting an active image layer in Photoshop. What I'd like to do is actually go through both of those different ways and walk you through the steps of how to do that. So let's go ahead and exit this and I'll start over here in Adobe Bridge. Oh, and actually before I get into launching the photos, I just wanted to pull up this example here. In the previous video, I talked about capturing images in Camera Raw and I have this example here that I'd like to pull up and show you. I thought maybe it'd be interesting to you. Um, but this is the same image and the one here, the one image here on the left is captured in RAW. You can see the extension .crw, that's one of Canon's RAW files. And the one on the right is a JPEG. So my camera and a lot of cameras have the feature to capture the same image with both file types at the same time. Um, and you can see here with the RAW file, it looks kind of dark and and flat and low contrast and unsaturated. It, it just really doesn't look very good. Um, the one on the right actually looks pretty good. And these are the differences. So here, the raw image is just the image, the all the pixel information purely captured straight from the digital sensor. So it's unprocessed and it's just the um, just the information straight from the digital sensor. The one on the right here, again, the JPEG, has been processed by the camera's internal computer. So that's why it actually looks a little bit better. The RAW does not look as good because you're meant to process it um, on your own later in Adobe Camera Raw. So let's go ahead and walk through the steps. So um, by default, if you double click a RAW image in Adobe Bridge, you'll launch Camera Raw. So if I just double click this image that's selected here, here we are. And we've got um, adjustments over here on the right, tools up here on the left. At the bottom, we have some options. We have open image, cancel, done. And on the bottom left, we have save image. So with the changes that you make in Camera Raw, you have a couple of options here. So if you open the image, what will happen is we'll open in Photoshop. Once and we'll apply the changes that you have made in Camera Raw. If you hit Done, it will actually um, not open in Photoshop, but it will apply the changes um, uh, and uh, just close it back into uh, Adobe Bridge. Um, if you cancel, it won't apply the, uh, the any changes that you've made. If you save the image over here on the left, it will actually save as, and you'll have the option to save it as a different file type. And again, this is all for that non-destructive editing that you're doing. So double-clicking a RAW file will launch Adobe Camera Raw. Now I have JPEGs here too, and if you want to open a JPEG or a TIFF file, um, you can't just merely double click. What you want to do is you want to, and I'll just select this image here, you want to right click and or control or command to click and then you'll have this option to open in Camera Raw. So here again it's a JPEG image but now I have the same options here that I had with the raw image and I can process it here in the Adobe Camera Raw. So I have the same image opened. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. We'll come back to um, that in a little bit. Um, I opened this image in Photoshop. So here we are in Photoshop. And um, with this image in Photoshop, what you want to do is you want to um, have an active image layer. And with this layer, you can launch Adobe Camera Raw right here from the filters menu. So I've, let me back up here because one thing that you can do, you can actually do it to the background layer, but you don't want to do that. So what I did is I actually duplicated the, or copied the background layer and I went even one step further because this actually gives you a lot more control. We'll talk about this a lot more in the class, but if I right click here, I can actually convert this layer to a smart object and then when I apply the filter, the camera raw filter, it actually becomes a smart filter. 
So here we are in Camera Raw again. Now here, when you launch it from an active image layer in Photoshop, you don't have as many options here at the bottom. So you only have a cancel and an OK. So cancel won't apply any of the changes that you've made. Um, if you hit OK, it will actually apply the images and apply it, apply the image adjustments that you've made and apply it to that um, image layer in Photoshop. Okay, so um, that's how you launch Adobe Camera Raw. Next, we'll go through the raw adjustments.